Hi everybody, David Bot here from Outside Our Bubble. Make sure I didn't fall. <laughs> Anyways, that would have been funny. Um, hey, so a lot of people ask me that, how do you do internet in your motor coach? And us personally, meaning not how would you do it as most people do, but how do, do I do it? And so understand this video is not so much a how-to as of how do we do. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to show this. It's going to be over most people's heads. Understand that. Uh, however, um, this is answering questions that I get all the time in regards to, like I said, how are we doing it? So in any case, it's over your head, a lot of it, and that's fine. And if it's not, then this may give you information that you can use to help your internet experience while on the road or living in your motor coach or whatever. So, first and foremost, this is my electronics bay for my internet stuff. Everything I use for internet is right here. And that includes my WeBoost, of course. Got to boost the 4G signal. Um, this is my Unify switch, which is a, uh, a switch. I have two more of these in the coach for hardwiring my devices. This is my actual router right here. This is a Ubiquiti USG 3P router. Um, this is USG stands for Unified Secure Gateway. And this right here is my Unify uh, Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus. Yeah, I know, a lot to say, right? Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus. And what this basically is, this is a computer that runs my controller software that controls my network. And it also runs my security camera software that controls all of my security cameras in the motor coach. So it's running controllers and it's running security camera. Then over here, this is a little seven, seven inch touchscreen. And that's because behind that is a little Windows 10 computer, a little Zotac Windows 10 computer. And next to that is three jetpacks. Yes, three. Two AT&T and one Verizon jetpack. So let me quickly explain how I'm doing internet in the motor coach. Of course, the router is does all the routing. So everything in my coach goes through this router and that's how it talks. Everything in the coach talks to each other through that. And I have two access points, one in the middle of the coach. I also have one up on the roof that all my devices connect to. Um, However, the big thing is internet. And how do I get my internet and how do I get my speeds? Well, that's where a piece of software running on this computer, two pieces of software actually, running on this computer um, comes in. And that is, that is Connectify and Speedify. Now, both of these obviously are from the same company, Connectify and Speedify. Connectify allows you to do the connection, make a wireless hotspot, make a wired router, um, different and, and 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 do different things it also is a ad blocker it blocks anything that goes through here well all the ads will be blocked automatically so all my devices and my computers don't have to have ad blocking software it will happen uh, automatically through this because everything passes through here and then speedify is a vpn bonding software VPN bonding, which VPN, virtual private network, bonding meaning put to, putting together and using as one. Um, so how does this all work? Basically like this. Got this little Zotec computer. It's just under $300 as it is configured. It's a small fanless computer um, that is, this is a, um, a Zotec Z-Box it's called. And basically it's only running, uh, it's running a simple system. It's um, an Intel, Celeron processor. I think it's an N4100, which is only a four core 1.1 gigahertz processor, but it's four cores running running VPN software, plenty of power for it, not hurting it whatsoever. It's only got eight gigs of RAM and it's got a 120 gig SSD drive. So that is what this is. And it's running Windows 10. So Windows 10, eight gigs of RAM, 120 gig hard drive. The processor is just a N4100. It gives me a uh, uh, um, AC, uh, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz AC. Uh, it also gives me uh, two Ethernet ports and then of course a lot of uh, um, USB 2 and USB 3 ports and a C port also. So in any case, the software that I use now to do my internet runs on that machine. And this is a 7 inch monitor which allows me to see it, what's going on and, and control it if I need to. This is the important part. This is the fun part. This is called VPN bonding, as I mentioned. And that allows me to take all of my jetpacks, 
Even if I have a nano station connected to the RV park, I can add that into the mix using all the devices at one time connected together, running through a VPN, which is a private secured network, all encrypted from point A to point B. My tunnel is encrypted and um, it increases my speed through the bonding process. This is, this is showing AT&T Jetpack 1, AT&T Jetpack 2, and Verizon Jetpack. If I had the park Wi-Fi connected through my nano station, a fourth one would show up here. Um, and I have it, I just don't have my nano station turned on because quite literally the park is only giving me 3.5 megabits and my wireless connections um, are much faster than that. So that's why I'm not even using the park. And the cool thing about this is Say the park, like I mentioned, only gives you three megabits down per, you know, three megabits down. Well, if I can use this bonding software, if I ran two nano stations, I then can get six megabits down because it would basically take both of those, the, the park would see each one as a separate device and it would bond them together to give me speeds. And while I'm talking about that, I'm gonna go ahead and tell this to start running a speed test to give you an idea. And the speed test, what's gonna happen, it's gonna run a speed test on AT&T, T2 and the Verizon jetpacks individually. And then it's gonna run a speed test, running it all at the same time to see how much speed I'm gaining uh, by running a bonded VPN. Now, again, these, these go through a VPN, which means the company that runs this has servers all over the world. I can select different servers. If I wanted to put myself in the Netherlands, I can do that. And just by telling it where I wanna to connect to. And then it'll, over here right now, uh, Connectify is telling me what my IP address is to the world and also what what VPN server it thinks I'm currently in Los Angeles, California. I'm actually in Fort McDowell, Arizona. But if I want to, I can put myself in New York just by using the VPN. Cool, huh? So I'm going to go ahead and just tell this to start running a speed test so I can talk a little bit more about it. So while this is running, um, Again, using a bonded service, what it's going to do is it's going to take each one of those connected devices, the, the, the jetpacks and, either, and if I have an Ethernet device like a nano station, and combine them to use them. And in doing so, it gives me two things. It gives me increased speed and reliability, but also if I'm downloading a large file or something, if I disconnect or lose Verizon, for example, AT&T is still running. The connection doesn't break. I'm still downloading my file. I don't lose that. It continues to download. It might slow down, but it continues to download. So that's really a cool part of a bonded VPN service. So when we do our streaming, when we're driving down the road and we're doing our live broadcasts, this is why we do very well at keeping that connection because I'm running both AT&T and Verizon at the same time. And what happens if I, if I lose one of them, the other one continues and my stream continues on. Same thing in reverse for downloading files. So right now, where are we? AT&T, 20 down, AT&T 2, 23 down, and Verizon, 32 down. That's what I'm currently getting. Now it's running the combined test to see what the bonded VPN service can do for us, okay? So as soon as it's done, we'll know. And it's just finishing up now. It's doing the upload test right now. And so um, just going through that, 22, 23, 32, 72. So now, even though, even though the jetpacks are 22, 23, uh, and 32, I'm at 72 on combined speed coming down. That's what bonding the VPN to do. And an upload speed, I'm at 26.5 going up when my fastest one before was 23. So I gained a little bit of upload speed, but that's all, that's all dependent obviously on the carriers. But you can see going through a bonded VPN increased my throughput, my download throughput, which we all want, streaming and what have you. So in any case, this is how we do internet in our motor coach. I told you that some of this, well, a lot of it would probably be over some of your heads, but for those of you it's not over your head of, then you can do this too. Um, you can run a V, you could be running a, a secure VPN system for all of your devices. You can have it removing the ads on all your devices automatically. You can move yourself at will throughout the world using different VPN servers. Um, if you find a server might be a little slow, tell it to rescan, see if you can find a faster VPN because that will vary depending on the number of users using a certain VPN, it will slow down that link. So, um, this is really cool. And by the way, for each one of these separate devices, 
you know how you have limits, like 23 gigs down a month before it slows you down, or some people have hard limits and where it's 10 and that's it and blah, blah, blah. Well, you can actually go into these ones individually and set up how you want to use them. Do you want to use it always on? Do you want to use it as a secondary, which is um, use less than always connections, best for like connections with um, data limits on them? Or you can do it as a backup. Use only when there's no other source available, use that device. So you can set it also how you want to use it. But not only can you set it, you can do it so you could rate limit it. So you can tell it, I only get this much per month or I only want you to download at this speed, stuff like that. So, um, and you can also set the, the calendar date of when those reset. So it knows when to reset those counters. Pretty cool. A lot of power. It's not, the, the most expensive part is the Windows 10 machine. Like I said, that was just under $300 for that. Um, the software, Connectify and Speedify, you buy Connectify and um, I bought it at a discount. It was 70% off and I got up for like 14 bucks and it came with six months of Speedify. So then when the six months is over, you buy that on a monthly or a yearly contract and it's not expensive to use. And it's something that quite literally I want to have because it gives me all of this flexibility and power and it increases my download speed greatly. In any case, that's how we do internet in our motor coach. I'm Dave Bott from Outsider Bubble, and I hope you somehow found this useful. You were asking, so there you have it. Hey, see you on the digital road. Take care. Bye. Again, please don't contact me on how to set one of these up. Thanks.